everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is February 19th, 2018. And I am on AddictedSports.com, capturing something on two different cameras facing the west. In Italy, both facing west. This is not Photoshop. I will leave links in the description. Let me translate this to English. This is in Lake Guardia in Italy. The camera direction is facing towards the west. Okay. Facing the west. And this camera here. And then we have another Italian camera at the same time capturing this interesting image. And what direction is it facing? Well, again, I will leave links in the description and you can see this for yourself. And we can see that this camera is also facing the west. Where is this area? Well, well, this is Switzerland. Let's look at this on Google Earth. <laughs> it's this lake right here in the northern lake in northern Italy. And lo and behold, I just happen to think that uh, the CERN Hadron Collider has a place to do with this. The CERN building here in Gen near Geneva, Switzerland. And we can see here that is a 228 miles away, almost directly due west. And I think that's basically looking in the same direction. Now, check this out. Some want to say it's a smudge on the camera above in the lens, but we see the same object on two cameras that just hangs out here for a while. It even acts, reacts the same way. Watch this. So here we are at 6.30 a.m. The, the object here suddenly disappears at 6.50. And then on this camera, we can see the object also disappears. Let's go back in time. <laughs> now watch what happens this. I mean, both cameras are reacting and seeing the same thing. Now, this camera now was in night mode, seeing the same object. And again, we could look at this camera and catch the same thing. <laughs> it basically still there and it moved. Now, what I have to say, also in regards to my last video, the sun missing over Switzerland. Yeah, and I had some wild speculations about, you know, the sun's actually there. Of course, it's there, right? And th a little further investigation discovered that the four cameras that I showed in this video actually had the 14th on there. And then just 12 hours after the video, the 14th was erased from all these cameras. And as of right now, this Swiss camera call EVD, as you can see in this video that I had clicked on the 14th, we can see the 14th in the date stamp and all the hours that are there. And now another update. Not only did they erase just the 14th, but they erased all, not only that day, but all the days afterwards, and it is now offline. Amazing. Offline technical problem. Mm -hmm. Technical glitch that just erases everything on all nine cameras. Let's go back to that date, and we'll show you, and many of you have discovered who bothered to look yourselves, that the 14th is now gone. In my first video, they actually erased, they dimmed out this 14, and you can see it's now highlighted back to normal. But when you click on it, you get this little icon here showing that there's no pictures. And you can see they even wiped out some hours on the 13th as well. So a later discovery that the four cameras that I had showed in that video, that they keep showing the same at the same hour, that all four cameras had froze and kept showing the same timestamp. Many want to think that this is a glitch. 
but why would you race all the other nine cameras? Let's just pick this one. And it is gone. <laughs> Let's pick another camera. So we can go back to this day. Here is a camera. The first, I'm just going to quickly show you that we can click on the 14th. It is no longer there. Look at all those. The entire day has been scrubbed on all the cam, all nine cameras in my video. They are all gone. And now I can spare you the sake of time, but just go and click on some of these and you will discover for yourself that the 14th is now missing from all these days. January 14th and YouTube had modified. They're really messing with me now, but I had said January 14th and now they know my voice and they made me, they actually, they've done this before, but I didn't bother mentioning it. They could actually change your voice on YouTube now. They're really messing with me. I can't even have video editor now. Look at this. See here, I click on the 14th. It's gone. There is no 14, no image available on all these cameras. Go check for yourself. With all that being said, what do you think happened? Well, I have a theory that's plausible, and I'm going to be looking for it now that we know what to look for, that upon Planet X's closest approach, because Planet X is orbiting its sun, Nemesis, and it comes and goes, and according to Dave Dobbs, it has an orbital path of approximately, give or take a few days or even a week, of about 200 days, and upon its closest approach, apparently the CERN Hadron Collider, upon its closest approach, I think its magnetic effects is what's actually caused the malfunction of all the cameras in the Swiss camera. And that's, I've seen this before, and I will be looking for it. Now we know what to look for that it caused all the cameras, seriously, camera glitch, huh? Yeah, again, how could it be a glitch? Glitches don't go back and erase everything, and now it's conveniently offline. <laughs> okay, let's just go back and look at the light values of this first camera here, and let's look at, I want to show you that this camera goes to the night mode, and when it does, it sees heat signatures. And if you've got a home camera at home, and you've got infrared, Put your hand in front of it and you'll see your hand show up as white at night because it sees the heat. And look at how the value of this camera had never changed except for the slight change in the exposure time with the f-stop f stop at 3.5 and ISO speed at 1600. And with no change, the thing suddenly appears and disappears and then turns white during the night mode. But let's go backwards time lapse on this and watch how this object is moving in our skies. Look at that. Now we have the object up here. And we'll show you the same on the other camera. We can see the heat signature showing up in this part of the camera. Now it's red. You can see the shadow of the planetary object over here. I believe we're looking at potentially even two planets. Now this planetary object is not, I don't believe we're actually looking directly at it like I've said in my other videos. You can see this mysterious object hovering here. Let's go back over to the other camera and go back in time on this one in a time-lapse mode, and we can see that it suddenly disappeared, just like it did in the other, and reappearing in the fog. May I say the planet just disappear? Remember, these are 10 minute timestamps, so it didn't really just disappear. These are snapshots. And we go back, I believe it goes back. It comes and goes and in the camera. And I believe I have a reason for why it appears somewhat still in the sky as the sky is rotating. And then we see it appear at about 1 o'clock and then it disappears. 
So it couldn't be a smudge on the screen because smudges don't appear and disappear. It couldn't be a bug or insect. I mean, why is it always there in the same sky? You know, in fact, go back and it's been there for days and it's strange how it keeps appearing over the northern skies of Switzerland and their cameras are used or are being modified, edited and wiped out and conveniently offline. Wow. So let me look at uh, a video that I had made of why this is happening and proof of the lens array that's bending the light out of their in this little diagram, I believe these lenses are overlapping. We have the sun simulator and our sun collecting the, using the energy of the sun to power the artificial sun, which is in a heliosynchronous over orbit around the Earth. That is an orbit that is always in front of the sun. This distance is approximately 256 miles, conveniently at the same altitude of the International Space Station. And... And this was a quick little diagram explaining how we, our sun is potential, our uh, artificial sun, sun simulator, because they knew our sun was dimming over time. These lens arrays, I believe, are in a lower orbit than the sun simulator. These are believed to be overlapping lenses that are focusing the light, bending the light around as far as from one side of the horizon to another onto a main lens. So this light is being focused here. So when the planetary object is here, if you could see my little crosshairs in this drawing, then it would bend the light all the way across here, hundreds of miles into another lens over here. And then the sun would appear as a hologram or the planet would appear as a hologram in these areas. That's why it, I think, appears because this lens just happens to be positioned over Switzerland, a different orbit than the sun simulator. And the proof I have, one of the strongest proof I have of the sun simulator, the lenses, the lenses, is in this video that I captured over this same white planetary holographic planet we watch appearing in Australia, which is now gone. And if I could play this video, we could see the sun, moon passing through this object and we see it split in three separate pieces look at that go back and watch that video Some disappearing moon well it didn't completely disappear and it went right through the center of this phenomenon holographic planet Terry object so with that being said and we still keep showing this object appearing in this same portion of the sky night after night during the nighttime sometimes it skips skips a day and for some of you who are new to this video i explained the lens array and showed all the proof of the pictures that were submitted to me by subscribers and images that i actually captured myself of the lenses in space that just these are some of the most phenomenal pictures i've ever seen what appears to be the eclipsing sun perhaps this technology was used to not saying the solar eclipse that we had was fake but i think it had other objects that were also eclipsing the sun <laughs> look at that lenses that are creating bizarre images in our skies in strange lens aberrations <laughs> lenses that we could see strange lights that we get red and blue light aberrations that we also see from these lenses and look closely it even looks more like a fresnel lens because of the ridges that we have a fresnel lens is a flat lens that acts as a thick lens it puts ridges in it to act as Fresnel lens and here are some other fantastic pictures I am going to try and put these on the MB33 channel maybe he will show the same strange lenses that are in space just look at these lenses and how it's folding light with the most bizarre sunsets that we're seeing sometimes you can catch this when your own camera 
that's uh, over webcam de mexico all these images go back and watch so i hope you appreciated this video please give it a thumbs up and have a blessed day see you at the lord's supper